All right, so finally, fuse box relocation. Really easy. Everyone should be able to do this. This will work for any RSX, any trim. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same. There's a couple methods in this video. I am going to show you how to deloom this whole thing, remove the ABS, uh, relocate the fuse box, reloom it again and then put this thing back on. But if you're only relocating the fuse box, you can skip all that other stuff that I'm gonna show you and just skip over to where I'm teaching you how to um, relocate your fuse box. So if you're only doing a fuse box, you just wanna deloom from here, right? To right here. Don't deloom anything else. Now, something that helps me guys where the loom splits i use that sometimes and i just like cut through where it's already splitting cut the tape that's there sometimes it makes it a little easier you guys are gonna have these two things here they're like wrapped around i'd say leave them there i don't know why they're there or what they do but I've never taken them out. All right, we're at the fuse box right now. So this is the fuse box side, all these plugs. And yeah, right there. We're almost there. almost at the firewall right here here's the firewall part I'll show you guys a little trick that I like to use I grab my knife you guys see the tape right around now lightly real soft just cut through there and then I go to this side do the same thing take this yellow tape off around this so then what I like to do is because you're gonna probably reuse this you don't want water getting in your car and stuff you're gonna cut from here right down the middle guys so i'll show you guys when i'm done all right so this is going to come off like that so you want to be able to reuse this so just cut right down the middle and then you can reuse it. this thing goes right here from there on out you don't have to really touch that anymore you're all set quick update like the main part of the harness that's all like deloomed we took it all off except for this part here you don't really have to touch this is also i'll show you guys later anyways when we get there and yeah here's your fuse box part i took that all apart but anyways start here with this plug we're deleting the abs if you're not deleting it just leave it and skip this whole step all right so since i'm deleting abs this is abs related so all this over here that's abs obviously we don't need it anymore so we can go ahead and cut it right here it's kind of scary <laughs> right it looks scary cutting that but you don't need it anymore all the wires that are abs related are right here i'm going to throw some tape around it just so we know which wires that we're going to keep pulling out of this harness which is this group right here you're going to have two big grounds right here we also cut those you can pull that out of the harness as well you don't need that anymore so you could just pull it and look it just comes right out so you no longer need this here no longer need this ground just set that aside start pulling all this harness out it's all going to stay together it's all going to come out as a group as you start taking this apart as you take it apart i would go ahead and add tape just to keep your heart your harness uh, organized work your way back slowly through your harness and just take your time with it there's no rush probably going to start looping it like this or whatever throw some more tape on here remember to stay organized just so you don't lose track of what, what's ABS related. So this little bundle right here, you just keep pulling it out of the harness. Took the ABS out. There's like the headlight stuff. And then we're right here, right underneath the radiator, working our way this way. Again, adding tape. Every so often where stuff branches out, just so we know where, where that stuff's gotta be. See how this wants to come apart. Added some tape right there. 
keep this one together where it's got to be so just keep working your way through all the way till you get to your fuse box here's my coil right here this is like the abs stuff we're removing we no longer need and yeah we're just gonna keep going At this point you're gonna have you're gonna have these two wires right here these two right here are gonna want to go towards the fuse box you're no longer using these two so you can go ahead and cut those the rest of these are gonna keep going inside the car so you're just gonna keep removing those going inside the car these two are at the fuse box so just keep taking this apart got some tape here all right so you're gonna have a plug that's gonna look like this with red stripe you no longer need this you can throw this out and then you got this white one that pretty much leads nowhere we're gonna go ahead and cut this a little shorter and i'm gonna add some tape at the end of it you guys can also de-pin this so just leave it like that again it's a white wire with a green stripe you guys can de-pin it or just leave it in a thing like that here's your abs keep coiling this up You're no longer gonna need this pile all right, so I, I think we're at a point that our little loop or our little pile is a little too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here, and we're gonna start a new a new pile or a new loop. All right, so we're at the O2 sensors. There's two of them, primary and secondary. Right at this point right here, you're gonna have some good amount of tape right there. Go ahead, cut that out. This is a good stopping point. You guys can cut them all here. This is usually what I do. This is all ABS related. I cut them all really short but what i like to do and i kind of recommend it is throw some heat shrink around every single one of these and then tape them together and then just tape them onto the side right here so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll continue on with this harness so now that we're all set with the abs we're gonna backtrack now we're gonna work our way from here all the way back this way back to the fuse box wires if you guys don't know where they are pretty much this is inside the car o2 sensors remove the abs your fuse box is right here you should have and we can count them up one two three four five plugs again we removed one of the plugs uh, right here this is the one we removed from the abs and that's my pile right there man that's my pile my mess again stay organized guys that way you don't have a mess 